just saw a couple. Gun froze up. My hands are froze. Things are looking up. What a difference in yesterday and today. for ptarmigan. The numbers are down locally and uh, I got about a dozen before Christmas. Haven't really seen many since then to be honest with you. So today we're going to put some extra effort into it. We're going on an overnight trip. Uh, we're going about uh, 200 kilometers in truck and we're going to drive about another 100 kilometers in total today to do some hunting on Skidoo. We're going to spend the night in the cabin and uh, head back tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see some birds. Fingers crossed, or paws crossed. We're going after some birds. Having a hard job keeping the roads open this year. There's just so much snow. Well, we just got at the camp and got her settled away here. Got the fire going. Basically, we're just grabbing a quick lunch here now. We're going to take right off again and go farther north. Uh, we're about 30 kilometers in there now. And it wasn't a real exciting trip on the way up. We didn't see any birds. Not surprising. There's always a few fellows on the go up this area. It was middle of the day. Well, I didn't see a lot of tracks either. So that's a little bit discouraging, but. We'll see what happens now when we get further up north. So basically, we're just going to take right off once we get this little lunch guy now. bird right there. Look. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but he was right in front of me. There he is. Get the bird, yeah.
There we go. Yeah, one anyway. It won't be skunked, will I? Can't find the birds. We'll find some to watch. Your supper is ready too. You hungry? Hmm? You wanna have some supper? You gotta say grace first. That is great. God is good. Let us thank him for this food. Amen. Good girl. Well guys, I'm beat. That was a long day we punched there. Um, we went 200 kilometers in truck and uh, just about 100 kilometers on Skidoo. Plus I walked, I don't know, one and a half, two kilometers on snowshoes in different places where birds typically are. I saw one bird. That's the bird you saw me get. So it's, uh, it's disappointing, <clears throat> to say the least, uh, today anyway. Um, I don't mind not seeing birds, but I didn't see any sign of birds. I saw some old tracks. I saw a few fresh tracks that people were after. That's understandable too. But no amount, you know. Uh, usually you see old signed or whatever, and, and you, you at least it gives you hope that there's birds there. You just got to catch them at the right time or track them out or whatever. But I did not see very much sign at all. So it was a long day. Supper was good. We had some bear steaks. Uh, I prefer bear roasted because it gets, uh, you, you slow roast it in the oven, slow cook it, and it, uh, it tenderizes much, much more. Bear meat is one of those meats that you have to cook. You can't have it medium rare or rare. It has to be fully cooked. So that tends to make it tough when you're frying it in a, in a pan like that as a steak, so. Anyway, we had a wonderful supper. I have my second cup of tea now. Uh, Willow's tired. She just jumped about the bunk again here next to me. And uh, I don't think we're gonna do a whole lot this evening. I think we're just gonna relax. I'm going to lie back and read a little bit now, keep the fire going, and uh, I'd say have an early night, and get up tomorrow morning and go look again. Let's hope that there's some on the go. Shortly after six, 
just grabbed a quick coffee and now we're gonna the sun is just coming up over here and we're gonna have an early start to see if it'll make a difference at least, there's a, at least if there's a bird on the go it should be up in the trees or out feeding you know so it's minus 16 celsius about uh, two or three degrees fahrenheit Get the bird. Man, he was running. He had to get out in that clearing. He flew for sure. There he is. Get the bird. Get the bird. Why don't they hide away well? There you go. Yeah, you got the bird, eh? The bird? Yeah. Early one in the morning. Hopefully it works out for us now. All right. Time to go. Okay, see where those birds came out? Like four birds. And they all flew off. Now if we can find where they pitched, it'd be good. There it is. The bird. Alright. Beautiful birds. We got three that time. I got two the first shot, and uh, that one just started to fly, and I knocked him out of the air. So we got three of those. Things are looking up. I didn't think I was going to use that first pack of the shells. I see some fresh tracks here now, so I got a good feeling there's a bird or two in these woods here. I just saw a couple. I'm gonna line this line of trees here. I'm gonna try to cut them off. Oh, I just see them. Oh, I see something right there. Move together, boys. Yes, sir. I got one for sure. See, we got the other one. I'm not sure. Oh, it hurt. Okay, I see. Oh, two. Got the two of them. See, they're they're right in the line there. From I shot in from out that way, and he went right in the line here. So I lucked out and got two in one shot. Again, that's good. Woohoo! Getting a few for the pot now, Willow. Yes, great. Let's go again. Alright, starting to 
pile up there now. Up she goes, up she goes. Come on. cabin again guys we're gonna have some breakfast now and uh, head around down the road uh, we had eight or ten birds this morning it was a great morning hey Willow well, I just had a funny thing happen uh, Willow started to uh, Willow started to freak out pretty much there by the door a minute ago and when I looked at it, I saw something black coming across my skidoo that was a crow actually at the birds or a jay just when it caught the corner of my eye when I come out, I can see there's a, after being a pine marten here. And, uh, anyway, I could see where I followed his track. And Willow went over there and there's a bird there. So I'm assuming that the uh, pine marten grabbed it and uh, took off with it. I don't know if Willow startled him, or I did, or what, but that's weird. That's a, that's a new one. Oh, shoot. Let me see what else. You can see where the neck is chewed a bit there. So I don't know if he's picking at it a bit and then uh, took off with it. <laughs> well, I'm going to put something on the top of those now so he don't get any more. Okay, so I got some um, homemade honey garlic mousse sausage here. Put some... Uh, Get some bacon and stuff mixed with it, so. So that's gonna be yummy in a few minutes. For sure. Lots of snow here yet. I guarantee you that. It's the middle of April. Big old rock there, boy. I just left the road about a kilometer away and came on down from a big line of uh, willows that's down here. Thought I might see some sign. Not a thing, not a track. So we'll make our way back up to the road now. Still roaming around up on this old burnover. Must be 20 years old, 25 years old, now this burnover is. Usually it's out to willows, but I can tell that a lot of them were actually covered up with snow. The snow is really deep, so uh, it was good going. Anytime you see me back uh, out in the open country like this with no tracks around, towing a sled, uh, you gotta be good going. Then again, I do own a super wide track. I got two on the wing that time. It's too bad they were right there. Of course, we ran up behind the rocks, was there, and uh, when they saw me, they took off. I'm not sure we saw on the camera or not. Oh man, it was nice. That's what I like. That's the way I like to hunt. Oh, might be lots of sun, but my hands are froze. So we got lots of fresh tracks here. Now, there is a fresh fox track there, too, hopefully. He didn't scare him up. Let's see which way they're going. You can tell tracks are fresh. Just by looking at how distinct they are. And uh, you can also see that they got like uh, the middle toe of the bird I call it is longer on one side, that's the front. 
so they're moving that way. Looking fresher all the time. These are the kind of places they like to hide out in the middle of the day, in these shaded uh, spots in, in the middle of the trees. If they get some sun on them, that's even better, but uh, they'll hide out there and you can barely see them. Well, I tracked them all out, and you can see where they came out through here. You can see the wing marks there. That means they flew away. Now they couldn't just flew right there, or they might have flew two or three hundred yards. Sometimes I'll just kind of take my skidoo and go in that direction, and you'll be lucky enough to see where two or three landed. And uh, usually it works out for you pretty good. Then it could be nice and quiet. Okay, I just saw two birds lift off here, and one landed upon the rock, and one landed next to the rock. It must be really wild. I'll keep the camera on and see if we can get close to them. Yeah. I think I still see something on top of the rock. Yep. Yeah. If he's up on top of that rock like that, he's gonna want to fly. Oh, there's three there. I'll get them on the ground first. Getting close to them. There we go, another couple. What a difference in yesterday and today. Woohoo! back to the truck now what a difference a day makes overall it was another great trip beautiful couple of days in the big land nice overnighter lots of good grub again lots of fun with willow looking forward to the next trip that'll be it for our ptarmigan hunting for this year the season closes in a week or so so uh, again thanks for coming along guys we'll catch you on the next video whatever it will be